Hello, this is Kloplop321, and this is PHP My Admin and MySQL, alongside with PHP Tutorial 05. And now, this uh, tutorial goes over the use of uh, the delete function inside of MySQL, but through PHP instead of through the PHP My Admin. So, first of all, I already have some tables from my last couple of tutorials with um, some data like this. And what I need to do in order to delete something is get this, and I get the statement I would need to use in PHP. So I'm going to copy that, click cancel for now. And I'm going to just comment this out and use that for later use. So first of all, we need to copy the information from the last tutorial on how to connect to the database. So I'm just going to copy these lines which you can refer to in the previous tutorial and so I'm going to paste in the lines from here where the uh, connecting to the database and selecting the database happens and now I have that information in and I do not need to go over that so now I have of course the uh, lines where I should be able to make a list of the current things which I can delete from. So I can pretty much go back here and copy the same information from here and and show how uh, I can manipulate this so I can have a delete function in this. So I have the name and I do not need the description I just want the names for now. and. Uh, then I'm going to want to have a delete link. So I'm going to say A for anchor tag, href for HTML or HTTP reference. And I'm going to say, um, uh, but I first need to escape these so it's still within the string. Then I'm going to say, um, question mark, referring back to this file, uh, del equals, and then the ID I have in my row. So I'm going to do this and add in the row ID as so. Now that I have the ID, I need to actually say delete this row and end the link. And then I need to save it. Now of course, if I went and saw this page as it is, um, I'll just have this right here. So I'm going to put in a break return tag at the end. So I'm going to save now again and refresh. So now I have a few rows. And I'm going to, instead of limiting, I'm just going to take this limit off. So I should be able to get all the rows now. So as you can see, I have rows here, and it seems that the delete reference is not working as it should. Oh, that's right. Um, again, MySQL is indeed case sensitive, and I have in the table here the ID being case, uppercase. So I refresh. Now you can see the link at the bottom, um, the ID of each one I'm looking at, um, which is down here when I move my cursor. Now, if I click on anything right now, nothing's happening because I haven't actually set an action for what happens when I have a delete um, variable in my URL. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if the delete variable is set. So I'm going to say dollar sign underscore uh, request, and then I'm going to say del because that's what I'm seeing if it is set. So I'm going to say is set right here and then I'm going to go ahead and in this portion I will do something if this delete thing is set. So I'm going to copy this comment down to the uh, is set range and uh, I'm just going to shorten the rest of the code here um, now this 
deleting procedure has to happen with a kind of a validation. So now I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, create the SQL statement. But first I'm going to get the ID. And I'm going to say it equals uh, this, but converted it to an integer. I don't know why my mouse is funking around, but um, we have to convert it to an integer first because um, not only for safety, but uh, also so that we uh, don't have something called SQL injection. You really can't do that when it converts it to a number only. So now I can say my SQL equals, and then I'm going to copy this information right here and put it inside of quotes. And I do not need this. I do not need this. And now I can just put in the dollar sign ID here. And that's how easy it goes there. But now I need to execute it. So I'm going to say uh, MySQL query SQL. And I'm going to save. And then as you can see here, this one's oranges and it should delete if I refresh. Now it has. If I refresh again, nothing happens because that row no longer exists. If I delete this 1, 2, 3, 16, it's gone. If I go here and I refresh this here, there is no 1, 2, 3, 16 anymore because it's simply gone. And that's really all that's happening here is uh, seeing if something is set. And then if it is set, I am going to process it so that it is safe to execute and then I will delete uh, that row that the user has selected and then it will go down and after that select the current row of existing items if you um, do this beforehand then you're going to have the outdated row, row when the uh, when the user sees it so it's important to do your processing before your return of values and uh, that's pretty much the main importance of this tutorial and uh, hopefully uh, you understood that if you do not um, try watching again or looking at uh, the PHP manual uh, you can surely find some assistance or um, good examples there that you could further use to help yourself in development. Uh, that's all for this tutorial. Signing off, Clop Up 321.